All right, guys, Michael Grimm here, webdesignbiz.com. Um, today I'm going to be talking about variable pricing with WooCommerce and WordPress. Um, my customer in this example has fishing lures and he has many different types, sizes, colors, and the built in um, variable pricing options into WooCommerce didn't quite do it for us. We would have had to do a ton of things to for each product to make it work correctly. So instead, we bought Gravity Forms and we're using the Gravity Form add-on. So you're gonna have to buy both of those plugins to do this. Um, and I'll put that in the description. So to have a product with multiple options and different prices you're gonna go ahead and navigate to your forms and you're gonna create a new form there it goes alright for this one I'm going to just create this one that says options here I'm gonna leave the form description blank create form alright so it gives you kind of the examples over here, but there's really no good documentation on this, so that's why I'm making this video. Um, every option that the customer has has a different price. So for example, the lure costs $54, but to have it in a certain size, it's going to be $5 more. So we're going to start with the sizing. and I'm going to do add product, and I'm just going to leave this blank and I'm going to make this hidden because I don't need this to appear. All right. So it makes you, for some reason, add a product before adding the options. So I always just add the product name, leave it blank. Um, if I wanted to, really, I can probably just name this uh, Lures for the product name, just for a reference for myself. All right, so here's the options. Just click on that. Go ahead and expand this window here. All right, so I'm going to do sizing. So let's just call this one size. First option is going to be small. Small is going to be no additional cost. Medium will be, let's say, just $10 more. And then large will be $15 more. Um, it's going to be a drop down box, no description needed. Okay, go ahead and hit update form just to save that. The next option this customer is going to have is going to be colors. And there's going to be a ton of colors for this customer. So, again, drop down, colors. I'm just going to do, I'm going to do four for now. Let's do blue, red, yellow. Let's add one more. Um, pink. All right, there's, this particular option isn't going to have additional price, so I'll leave the pricing at zero. Go ahead and update form to save my changes. Um, one more thing he's going to have is going to be rigging. So let's go ahead and add the option rigging. Okay, let's do rigging. The options are going to be unrigged, which is going to be how they come naturally. Rigged with one hook will be one dollar more. Rigged with two hooks will be two dollars more. All right, so that's my form. Update form. Preview it right here. All right, so this is how my form is going to look on the product. So if I go back and I go to products, I'm going to use for my example, uh, let's see here, I want to use Atlas. All right, so this is going to be the one used for my example. You're going to click Edit, come in here. 
All right, you want to leave this as simple product because remember the built-in stuff um, is under attributes and you got to use uh, the variable product, but I couldn't get that to work the way I wanted to, so that's why I bought the gravity forms. And from here, you're just going to choose form. And we already have one set up here, but I'm going to go ahead and click options. I'm going to change this back after I look at it, but everything looks good. Hit update. All right, now view product. I'm going to open this in a new window. All right, there you have it. You have size, small. If you add medium, it's going to add 10 bucks to the options. There's your colors. And then rigging, one hook was $1 more. And you can see it's doing the subtotaling right there. So I'm just going to go back here, change it back to what the customer had, and save it. And that's it. So in summary, you guys are going to need to buy Gravity Forms and the Gravity Forms add-ons. Um, you're going to create as many forms as you need, and for every product that needs to show certain options, you're going to select the form that you want to use right here, and you'll see these little three options. In certain cases, you want to display title. So for example, it'll show the word options right there. This is going to come in handy for flower shops, um, for any any kind of business that has multiple options and a ton of options, this is a lot easier than doing it the uh, the way that comes stock with WooCommerce. I hope uh, I hope you guys can uh, learn from that. Thanks. Bye.